students. So uh, today we went for uh, mulakat with uh, the students, faculty, and actually one media person who uh, are being uh, who were arrested on this campus. And uh, you know, uh, one thing that certainly all of you need to get out there is the fact that uh, one media person was arrested, and several of the students who were picked up were actually picked up because they were filming <laughs> the proceedings. So uh, even they were were arrested simply because they were documenting police brutality. So, uh, today was a day when we were not sure that a mulakat was possible, so only a limited number of us went. Uh, but I would encourage all those of you who felt in any way intimidated or worried about the possibility of uh, arrest, like what is an arrest, could we be arrested, could we be taken away to jail, I would strongly, strongly encourage you to visit the Cherlapalli jail. Okay, there's a limit on how many number of people can go at a time. But I strongly encourage you to visit. This is something I say in all of my classes to combat the forces of blind belief and Hindutva. Don't believe anything I'm saying. Verify it for yourself. You'll go there and you will see something looking like a campus, except it has far fewer police than this at the gate. There are one or two people at the gate. University of Hyderabad, you walk inside and there's a long road inside, you go in, no police stopping you, no large police vans blocking the road, very peaceful place, you go inside and then you can go in and you can meet all of, it takes some time, you have to, you know, provide some ID and then you can go and meet all of the people who uh, are being held there. You will see the look of well-slept, well-fed people in front of you. This is something, thankfully, that we have, to, uh, we have to actually pay homage to the many political prisoners uh, who have fought for the rights of getting basic food and basic food and basic water and basic sanitation in jails, a condition which unfortunately has not been met in the University of Hyderabad over the last uh, few days. The other thing that the students said was, and people are also saying that, you know, we are all here, some students are, who were picked up were apolitical students, they were just picked up because they happened to have a cell phone and they thought that if police brutality is happening, I should film. Some students, students are from a variety of political backgrounds, so the other thing that they are having there, which we are not having paradoxically in a university, is classes. They are having classes and debates and discussions there. So actually when I went there, I felt that this is the university and what is called University of Hyderabad is the jail. You know, where you are not allowed entry, you cannot go in, you cannot go out, all of these things. So I would strongly encourage you uh, there is a limit on how many people can visit any particular person in jail, so we'll have to think about how many people can go at a time. But I would encourage any of you who have feel ki, what will uh, what will happen if I get picked up? What will happen if I get taken to jail? Okay? The police have unleashed their might before people. They have made all of your worst nightmares come true. Why is it that people don't get politically involved? They don't get politically involved because they worry. It's a legitimate worry. What if I, false cases are put on me? Yes, false cases are put on people. And people who are, upon whom false cases are put are inevitably released because there is no evidence of any kind backing the false case. The worst thing that happens, essentially, is jail ka hawa khana padta hai kuch dino ke liye. You have to spend a little bit of time in jail while the slow legal wheels turn in order to get you out. And I want you to see what spending a few day, days in jail does. I want you to look at the people in jail, and then I want you to look at the faces that I'm seeing here now. Faces of terror I'm seeing here, I'm not seeing over there. Okay? Why is it that the people who have been incarcerated are feeling confident and strong about resuming the struggle? It's because they have been beaten. Yes, they have been beaten. 
all of you, many of you have been beaten, okay? And guess what? They survived, right? They survived the beating. They survived the hours of being held in strange places and not knowing where they were, not knowing if they were contactable, not knowing when they were going to be able to get word out to their family. They've been through all that tension and now they are lodged in jail where it feels much more liberating than being in the University of Hyderabad. Okay? So, <coughs> my only purpose is, to, is this. I see relatively few people here considering the massive number of students on this university who have been affected by the last 72 hours and I know that even more people would be here if they were not scared that just being seen here would be a reason that they would be picked up and false cases put on them because that's what happened on 22nd of March 2016. Okay, but I, what I have to say to you is there is nothing to fear but fear itself and you don't have to believe me. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, unfortunately, we're not allowed to videograph in the premises of the jail. Otherwise, I would just show you a movie and you would be stunned by how peaceful the jail looks compared to the university. So with that, I would like to end uh, and say that the, the students inside were very clear that the only thing that they were in tension about or the thing that they were worried about was that the movement outside would be low. So they have explicitly said, please keep up the fight. Keep up the fight within the campus. And as soon as we are released, we will be back with our full energies. Yeah,